Hi Scorpio, welcome to your February monthly general reading. I am Charlene Lizette. That's my fan in a truck. Whoa, that was like crazy. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you're returning, a massive thank you to you for being a part of our high vibe community. As always, I do need to give gratitude and adoration to my great queen, the Morgan, to whom all my work is devoted to. All right, Scorpio, let's see what's going on for you for the month of February. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and our Venus. Okay, you're waiting for things to come in. They may feel like they're taking a really long time to come in. In February, remember, we do have Mercury retrograde, okay? Mercury is retrograde. Career finances, we have the Four of Swords. I'm going to pull out the whole spread and then we'll go into it. Okay, so hang tight. The Nine of Swords. Jesus, babe, get out of your head. Scorpio, get out of your head, okay? And the Moon, and we're going to, and the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so listen, you're really stressed out about something, but just because you don't see the change that's coming doesn't mean that the change is not coming and doesn't mean that the change is not coming for your highest good. You got the death card you're showing up i love this i love that you're showing up in your reading the seven of cups yeah so maybe you've been waiting for a career opportunity maybe you've been waiting for a new source of income maybe you've been waiting for um an acceptance letter from a job or maybe you started your own business and you're waiting for that to kind of like come to fruition to you know be illuminated and that's too many can i get uh, two more and maybe you've been very stressed, okay? If you've been like over analysis paralysis around your money, Scorpio, really, really please focus on like taking care of yourself. Go to sleep. Um, you know, I'm not a doctor. Talk to your doctor first, but take magnesium, okay? It might help you to just relax, okay? Um, the Four of Swords is also about recuperation, resting, relaxing, okay? Meditating. There's that judgment. This is going to be a big month for you, Scorpio. Whew. Major changes are ahead. Yeah, major changes. There's happy times to be had here, babe. It's just right now, it might just feel very gloom and doom. It might just feel like one after another, after another, after another. Look at this. The Four of Swords and the Nine of Swords are telling you to please take care of your mental health around your career and your finances. Things that aren't working out for you, rather than thinking of them like, oh my God, they're not working out for me. My life sucks. Why don't you turn the turn the script, change the script and say, these things aren't working out for me because there are better things coming into my life. With the moon and the wheel of fortune, it's very obvious here, right? While you're so focused on this like delusion, sadness, illusion, fear, the unknowing, the universe is like, don't worry, baby, we're working behind behind the scenes for you. We're turning this wheel so that you can see something new and something amazing happen in your life. And that's why you show up because you're all about transformation. You're all about that death and rebirth. You're the phoenix that rises from the ashes. And here you are coming to full throttle in your power saying, shit needs to change. Maybe I need to make better decisions. Maybe I need to get real about the choices I'm making. Maybe I need to get clarity. Maybe I need to put a list of the pros and cons of all the things that I'm doing in my life to really get clear on what's working for me and what isn't. You'll know exactly what it is that you need to do to help this transformation move forward in your life, to help these endings move forward in your life. Because you don't want to stay stuck in that, like, the lull, the darkness. You're like, I'm ready for the death and the rebirth right away. And so as the month progresses, you're really focused on moving forward. Maybe you're moving. Maybe you're moving homes, province, city, state, whatever. Maybe you're making a plan as to where you're going to travel. Maybe you're thinking about your future. What do you want your future to look like, Scorpio? Who's in it? What are you doing for a living? How much money are you making? Where do you live? How do you feel every day when you wake up in that life, right? Those are the questions to be asking yourself in your mind in this time to support you, to guide you, right? Because when you get clear with your intentions, with your desires, with how you want to move forward in life, what you're looking to receive from life, then and only then, can you start to visualize and design the direction which you're going to take, right? So get like a paper and a pen and start writing down in five years, I want to have da, 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 all right? And then make a plan on how you're going to get it. With that six of cups, the judgment and the nine of wands in your love life, 
whether you're single or in a relationship, the judgment card is telling me that some type of truth is going to be illuminated in your life. Maybe it's for your highest good. Maybe it's part of your spiritual awakening, or maybe it's the universe asking you to answer the call from the universe. Either way, this has to do with a soulmate. A soulmate that maybe you've known in a past life that you know now, maybe you don't know them now, you just know them in a past life. Maybe you're lucid dreaming. I'm getting a lot of you are very much into like lucid dreaming, astral traveling, okay, or really just going deep into the psyche. For others of you, this Six of Cups represents potentially children, okay? Maybe you want to have kids, or maybe your partner has kids, or maybe the person you have like has kids, or maybe you have kids and the person you like doesn't know if they want to have kids, right? It might be something around there where a decision is needing to be made about how you're going to be moving forward in a relationship, in a love connection. With the Nine of Wands, I see that you're not taking this very lightly. This is a very big decision for you to make, right? Because this is your future and this is the direction which your future is going, right? Will you be able to accept this person how they are? Will they be able to accept you as you are, right? If you are single, you're really working hard on manifesting, so hard on manifesting a new love into your life. You're changing things around and, you know, I'll be really candid with you. This shift that you're doing in other aspects of your life will most definitely have a positive influence on your love life, Scorpio. Scorpio, I'm going to pull out some Oracle cards, some Romance cards, some Astrology cards. If you want a private reading or if you'd like to purchase my Gemstone Healing Jewelry, modern... Uh, I was going to call it what? Modern amulets and talismans. Um, you can go ahead and do that at Starseed Jewels in the description box below. Envy. I am the same as everybody, but with different challenges. Right? Don't be worrying about what other people have in their cup. Focus on yours, love, because there is big things here that are transforming for your highest good. So who cares what John and your neighbor have? That should be the last thing on your mind. Your mind focus on rest, relaxation, embracing the wheel of fortune to change that will bring you peace, tranquility, happiness, a new potential life, a new road to journey on. There's so much newness coming your way. Leo, okay? Yes, like the sun, Leo shines bright. Leo is also so strong. Leo is resilient, is determined, okay? They are really focused. And look, look at this. What color is that? Same as the sun. What does that look like? The sun. What does that look like? The sun, right? The circles. So, so the color yellow is really important for you. Focus on your solar plexus, your sacral, and your root chakra this month, all right? Those are the chakras that you need to focus on. The root, the sacral, and the solar. Let your friends help you. Ask for and support help. Ask for and accept support from others. Definitely. Having conversations with your friends, having conversations with the people that you love will help you to gain clarity in the situation. Whether you're in a relationship or not, your friends are there to support you this month. So maybe you have like a, what's it called? A Galentine's Day when it's girlfriends that get together. And if you're a guy, um, I don't know, a bro and Broentines, Broentines day. I don't know. All right. Either way, thank you so much for watching Scorpio. Thank you for your likes, your comments, your shares, your subscribes. Thank you for being a part of our high vibe community and we'll see you on the next one. See you later alligator. Peace out. Bye.